Hi everybody. You know there's one question which I get asked a lot. Ma'am, how can I squeeze in more effective hours in my study schedule? This is exactly the question that we will address today. Let me tell you that yes, it is definitely possible to stretch your effective daily study hours. It might sound difficult, but it is very much achievable. No doubt there are a lot of factors to fight with. You face lethargy, laziness, there's procrastination, there's lack of motivation, but if you are stubborn enough to achieve your goal, then your willpower will be immensely helpful in overcoming all these problems. Now before I dive into the tips, here are two disclaimers that we need to be careful about. Number 1. Whenever you are trying to master something academic or even non-academic, the number of hours that you put into it don't actually matter. What matters is the quality of study that's happening in those hours. How much are you actually able to focus and gain from it? So remember, quality is always supposed to be prioritized over quantity. And number 2, you are not supposed to stretch at the cost of sleep and exercise. Now, exercise does not mean like aggressive aggressive exercise, it just means any form of physical activity, physical movement. Because when your routine fails to have enough sleep and enough physical movement, that routine just leads you to compromise with your health. It's not at all sustainable and that's not a routine that we are chasing. All right, now let's dive into the tips. So tip number one is kill distraction. I know that this is the most burning problem among all students and that's why I decided to take it as the first point. See people, attention is a muscle. If you want to be more attentive, you need to strengthen this muscle. And for that, you need to put in some effort. The first thing that you can do is try the 54321 rule. It's the 5 seconds rule, guys. I've learned this from a very famous person through a very famous TED talk and it has worked wonders for me. What basically you have to do is, let's say you're studying, okay? and you realize that your mind has started to wander. It has entered the zone of overthinking or distraction. So what you need to do is you need to consciously snap out of it. And how do you do it? Five, four, three, two, one. It's psychological, you know, the moment you do this reverse counting, it just interrupts that distracting thought and brings you to the present. You can apply this as many times as you want in your study hours. What it does is it gives you that immediate control over what you want to think next. It's immensely powerful and very promising. The next thing that you must do is avoid brain drain. You won't believe if you keep your phone only with your side, it becomes a brain drain. You know, even if your phone is you know, even if your phone is on silent or you have kept face down, karke rakha hai, that also negatively affects your focus. A research conduct with which I know that only with your phone in front of the mental attention ki capacity is reduced. Because you, know, you have this urge to check your phone, right? When it is there in front of you. When you are controlling the search, you are consuming the energy in control kar rahe ho, which means the available brain resources to do your task at hand, which is studying, becomes less. And that is not something that we want. So phone is a big no-no in your study area. Another technique which you can use to make the most of your study time and to avoid distraction is the Pomodoro technique. So one Pomodoro refers to a small time interval of 20 to 25 minutes. All you have to do is you have to divide your study hours into chote chote khoop sare pomodoros. So you're studying for 25 minutes, then you take a 5 to 10 minute break. Again 25 minutes study, then 10 minute break and so on. Is se hoga kya na ki kyunki aapko bata hai ki 25 minute baad aapko break milne wala hai, to us 25 minute mein you will put in your heart and soul, entire focus and attention in study. You will set a target that I will do so many questions in 20-25 minutes and that most probably will be achieved by you. Because you know, it's just 25 minutes and you'll get a break. Okay, so this is also very very helpful. You can try it out. Now moving on to the next point, it is prioritize the tasks in your schedule. Very very important. You have to pick up difficult tasks 
at the start of the day right in the morning. Why? Because that's when you are at your best. For most people, this is the time when they feel most productive. And it's logical also, because this is when your energy level match the difficulty level of the topic. Because of which you are able to understand them better and retain them better and for a longer time. Also, what does this result in is that towards evening, you are left with less challenging topics. And as it is towards evening, your energy will be drained. You will be a little bit tired physically and mentally. So with that set up, getting done with the lighter topics becomes easier towards the end of the day. On the contrary, if you do the opposite, if you pick up easy stuff towards the, the start of the day, the beginning of the day, that will give you a false sense of achievement. Ek jhooti tasalli ki meri padhai ho rahi hai. And this is what most procrastinators do. So what happens is that towards the end of the day, there's a reality check. What they can see is all the challenging topics which could not get done in the day. And by that time, they are so drained, they are in no mood, they have no will to push themselves and eventually no effective study happens. So prioritize the difficult topics to be done at the start of the day. And if you are not a morning person, if you are a night owl, then feel free to pick up difficult topics at that time of the day, whenever you feel the most energetic. Next point is exercise, guys. Now, I don't mean aggressive exercise again. I'm not referring to strong gymming and picking up heavy weights. No. What I mean is just 15 to 30 minutes of any form of physical activity, like any form of cardiovascular exercise, which makes your heart beat fast a little or makes you sweat a little. This is what should be a non-negotiable part of your day. Why? Because exercise helps us in increasing our learning ability, in increasing our long-term memory because it boosts the happy hormones and controls the anxiety levels, the stress levels, the depression. There was a very interesting research conducted which revealed that right after a small session of sweat-inducing exercise, students were able to focus better, concentrate better, their level of alertness and motivation increased. So 15 to 20 to 30 minutes of exercise is a must for you to keep in a day. Next thing is steal a nap. You heard it right, steal a nap. You know, there was a study conducted by NASA which revealed that pilots who took a nap of just 26 minutes, they were able to perform more consistently and they were more attentive throughout the day as compared to those who did not take a nap. In fact, because these pilots slept for just a short while of 26 minutes in the afternoon, they were able to work with higher intensity at night. This is something which is even applicable in our study sessions. So you should make a schedule which allows you to take a short nap in the afternoon so that you are better prepared to handle the next evening session because this little tiny nap will add hours to your schedule both quality wise and quantity wise and that will lead to the stretch of hours that you are searching for. Next thing is eat right. You cannot underestimate this one. You know, when you perform non-pleasurable, mentally exhausting activity, which means studying, that drains the mental energy faster. That's why you need to eat in every three to four hours. You have to eat in small portions. You have to eat light. You have to eat right. What do I mean by eat right? You should prefer eating whole grain foods like salads. You have soups, you have seeds, nuts. Because all this is going to help you sustain, maintain your energy level for a longer period of time without you getting tired. Whereas on the other hand, if you uh, prefer eating a lot of junk food, a lot of fried food, too much sugary beverages, ice cream, etc. What this does is it does exactly the opposite. It spikes your energy level immediately and equally fast it crashes them. Leading you to feel very fatigued, lazy and drowsy. So this is something that you have to take care of. Eat right, be hydrated, drink a lot and lot of water while studying because that will send immediate oxygen to your head and you will feel activated and energetic and completely focused. Last but definitely not the least is mindfulness. 
you know every morning when you wake up you should remind yourself of your why of your ultimate goal every morning you should consciously set aside at least some time to sit with yourself and do this self talk that i am in charge of my day to day it is my responsibility to make sure that i don't waste it in fact i make the most of it whatever is going to come my way that will not align with my schedule i will say a clear cut no to it because my schedule my goal is my priority whatever schedule i have made for today i will respect it i will stick to it i will follow it religiously you know just consider yourself a tree for a second then you will have to work on your roots strongly if you want to branch out beautifully and bear good flowers and fruits isn't it so when you sit with yourself the first thing in the morning and refresh your intentions when you do this positive self talk every single day you are working on your roots and that is what ensures that you are definitely going to go a long long way that was all from my side guys if you like the video do hit the like button and for more such videos stay tuned to the akash bhai juice j channel it's me bhumika signing off we'll see you super soon again take care